Fall brings cooler temperatures and delicious flavors like cinnamon, pumpkin, and nutmeg. Today, local chef Dallas Miller is going to walk us through the steps on creating a delicious variation of grilled cheese. This one's made with cheddar, apple bacon on Thomas swirl bread. This sounds like the perfect combo, and yet I've never tasted this before, Dallas. Thanks for bringing it in. You're welcome. You it's know, easy to put together? Oh, yeah. It's really easy to put together. Um, the only thing I would watch out for is just the sugar in the bread burns a little easily. So I'll kind of show you a trick to get around that. Okay. In the kitchen, we call this the classic ABC, apple bacon cheddar. So it's really easy to put together. Uh, first, you cook off some bacon. Okay. That takes the longest amount of time. This recipe calls for caramelized onions, which that takes about 10 or 15 minutes. You just slice them really thin, cook them slow. They get nice and brown like this. Yeah. And they're really, really sweet. And you could make those a big old batch in advance and then just yeah. have this in the fridge and use it for a variety of things too. I'll keep them at home in like a mason jar for like a week, week and a half. And just put them in and... and They're and, really sweet and okay. it's really good for the fall. Excellent. So that's a good fall flavor. You're right. But I figured 20 minutes on onions wouldn't be a good time for... No, TV we'd be today. we'd be on to the next show, and I would have eaten three grilled cheeses by that time. So those are made. You've got it in your fridge at the ready. Is it important? So if they if you did make them in advance, and you know they're, you're taking them out of the fridge, right? Mm -hmm. Do how do I need to warm them up? What is microwave, or do I put uh, them right no, in? You're the... gonna you're gonna kind of mix everything together for the grilled cheese, and then we're gonna just cook it all as one big thing. It's all gonna be cold components that we're gonna make hot. All right, let's do it. So uh, once you've got your bacon, your caramelized onions, you grate some cheddar. This is white cheddar. I'm gonna grate an apple. Okay. This is the last thing I'm gonna do because the apples will turn brown. Why um, grate it, Dallas? Why not just do like super thin slice? Is that just preference? You, you can, but what I'm gonna do is kind of take all the parts and kind of mix it together rather than layering Layer. it. Okay. So I'm just gonna grate a little bit of the apple. You don't even really need much. You need a steady hand is what you need. That thing makes yeah. me a little nervous. The grater? Yes. Oh, well, you get used <laughs> to it. So I'm basically just gonna take all the parts. Ooh. Okay, see, jump out and get you. Break up the bacon a little bit. Okay. So you really are gonna break that up into pieces too. Mm -hmm. I'm just breaking it apart with my hands once it's cooled down, breaks up really easily. I can't believe I've never tried this before. What have I been doing with my life? This is gonna be good. A little bit of the caramelized onions, okay. and I'm just gonna kind of mix them up so that they're lightly mixed. So you make a little mi mishmash there of all the goodies. Yep. Um, I put a little bit of oil down if I'm not using cast iron. I'm using a cast iron pan today, so I'm not gonna use any oil. It's really well seasoned. So I'm just putting the bread down first. Wow, okay. And then I'm going to put the cheese on top. Because usually I would have slathered that butter slice with, with I'm sorry, the bread with a, a big slab of butter on it. And I don't have to do yeah, that. Yeah, that's your I... preference. I mean, I'll put butter on it, um, usually in any other situation other than cast iron. The cast iron pan, especially be... one that's this old, this one's about 10 years old and it's pretty well seasoned. So it doesn't need a lot of oil. Okay. So the real thing here is the sugar in this bread burns really fast. So. As soon as I put it down in the pan that's nice and warm, I preheated this on like two out of 10, mm -hmm. like pretty low temperature. I just take it right here, put it straight in the oven. So you left them open face going into the oven. Exactly, so okay. the cheese will melt, everything will heat up, and then you stack them together and you'll have a nice melty, well put together grilled cheese. Okay, when they come out, you would bring that back out. Our magical oven is not uh, gonna make those super hot, but you imagine you just take those two halves and then they're gonna come together. Put them together, yeah, and you'll get just like this. Wow, totally would not have, so yeah, step by step on this was critical. And you can see these are starting to get that beautiful brown caramelization exactly. on there. Yep, you really gotta keep your eye on it with the sugar, but it's really delicious. The raisin one is really good too with this. What's your favorite? So you have grilled cheese, right? You gotta pair yeah. it with some soup. What's your favorite soup to put that with? This one I would put with like a butternut squash soup, like a puree butternut squash, maybe with some pumpkin spice. All right. Get yeah. really bring out those fall flavors. Dallas Miller of The uh, Daily. Thanks so much for being in with us. You're very welcome. Delightful creation. And you know, I'm gonna do a little quality control, but uh, somebody's gotta do it.